Residence of Planners Bank in downtown Newport, and we're visiting with Beth Kennard. And uh, first of all, we want to welcome you to the program. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. We have got to find out a little bit about you, uh, a girl who grew up outside of this county, living in Jackson County, been here a while. But tell us a little bit about where you grew up and how you got to Newport, Arkansas. Okay. Well, I was born and raised in Heber Springs. And um, I lived there for most of my life until okay. about 2007. I moved to Northwest Arkansas with my job at the time. Um, and I lived there for a couple of years until um, my husband and I, we started dating and um, decided we were gonna get married. And we moved to, um, Newport was his home, Jackson County was his home. He was born and raised here. So there was really no, um, no discussion as to where we were right, gonna end up. Right. So at, the, at that time I moved here and we've been here ever since and it's been our home. And you told me earlier about, uh, you know, before we got on the air about applying for jobs and you came, you were looking for a job, you applied for one and you got it. Tell us about that. I, well, I didn't, I didn't really know much about Newport at the time. So I, you know, we still use phone books at the time. Right. <laughs> I don't have a phone book now. I, I tease um, some of the people here that still have them. I'm like, right. Why are you using a phone book? But anyways, I had a I had a phone book at the time, yeah. and I went through and I was looking for banks and you know offices, attorneys, yeah. and I just sent my resume out to a ton of people. There you go. And um, there you go. just blindly, and the bank called and they wanted me to come in and interview, and so I did, and and. Um, Thankfully, they offered me the position, and um, I, I've been happy here ever since. Uh, tell us where you started in the bank, and tell us where you are now, because you're, you're doing something different than what I, you... I, I did. I started out as a loan assistant, okay. um, you know, backing up the loan officers, um, preparing loans, mm -hmm. um, taking applications, and then, you know, if a customer would come in, just helping them with, with whatever whatever they needed. And, uh, you know, I've done that for, for a long time. Sure. And, um, you know, I always wanted to... Um, you know, my, my idea was to always be a loan officer one yeah, day because um, uh, I just I just love being able to help our people out. Um, that's one thing about being in a community bank. We are able to make our decisions here and we can really help our customers do, you, you know, no matter how small the the need is, right, absolutely. We're, we're able to do that and service them. So, um, Anyways, that, that's what I was always kind of working towards. Um, and then I had the opportunity to go to Barrett School of Banking, um, went there. It was a three-year program, graduated wow. last year. So I was really excited about that. Thank you. And then early this year, um, I was promoted to a loan officer. Well, and you worked along in the loan process, so you knew all the process, but there's a little different side of it of being there and actually, uh, you know, lending the money. But I know you're doing a great job and, and uh, uh, excited about the opportunity that it brings. When we walked in the door, I noticed uh, we're doing some different things up front. If, if you folks haven't been to the bank recently, we've made some changes. We have some upgrades. Tell us about what's going on up front. Well, uh, first and foremost, it was time for a facelift. Yeah. Um, we needed some updating. Um, but, you know, also in that, there was a need, you know, the bank's been growing, things are expanding, um, we have more people. There was a need to restructure the lobby out there. And so what we've done is we've um, put in offices. So everybody will have their own office and the customers can come in there, give them a little bit more privacy. Um, so we're, we're really excited about that. Um, and, and we've got to, we really need to thank our customers because it has been dusty it has been dirty <laughs> it has been loud at times right. it has even been smelly um we've had paint and some glue and so i mean it has been um quite the process but um it's it's actually been a lot smoother than what we would have you know what i thought it was going to yeah, go absolutely. but it, it's winding down and um we're excited and i, I think our customers are excited i think they're going to love good. love the new the new look yeah it looks good i gotta ask you this and and uh uh, Beth, what, what, as far as outside the banking world, what are some of your interests? What are some of the things you do? What do you like? What do y'all do as a family? And well, uh, we have three children. My okay. oldest, my daughter, um, Erica, she attends UACCB and she's a pharmacy tech. And then oh, we have a, a 10th grader, um, Aiden at Tuckerman, and he's a baseball player. He's the catcher for Tuckerman Bulldogs. And then we have a fifth grader, Riley, um, who is an aspiring artist. Really? So um, when we're not here, um, right now baseball season is starting off, yeah. it's kicking off. Um, we're at baseball games. We love to watch baseball games. I don't know what we're going to do with ourselves when Aiden graduates. And yeah. I just hope he plays college, college ball. But um, 
when we're not there, you know, we try to get to the lake. Um, we try to go to Heber, see my parents, um, go out on the lake, go out mm -hmm. on the river, um, pull the kids around on the tube. I don't tube anymore. Um, <laughs> Derek's main goal is to knock people off the tube, and, and um, I let him pull me one time. and uh, One was I, enough? Nope. <laughs> I've retired. Yes, I don't blame you. I don't so, blame you. Um, we do that, and we love to fish. Um, it's so funny. When we moved here, um, growing up in, in where I did, you know, we didn't have ditches. Right. And yeah. when I when I moved here, I would see people standing on the side of the side road of the with road. these fishing poles, and I said, Derek, what are these people? What are they doing? And he said, they're fishing. I was like, you can't tell me there's fish in there. And he said, you better believe it. Amen. And I said, well, I, I don't think I'll ever do that. Well, I ate those words. I've, I've been known to, to fish in a ditch or two now. So, and, and catch fish. Fishing is fun. I love to fishing fish. I do. It's a little bit different fishing in a ditch than it's fishing at Heber Springs on Gooseberry Lake. It's <laughs> a lot different. My dad, my dad did tour fishing. He was a, t a fishing guy. Really? So he did yeah. guided tours. And so, I, I mean, I grew up fishing. I was like, you can't, you can't tell me that there's fish in these ditches. And <laughs> there sure are. There are big ones. Yes. So. Well, I know that uh, when you're raising a family like that, it pulls you in different directions. And in uh, any way, you're a busy person at work and obviously a busy person in life. And uh, we in Newport, Arkansas, are the benefit of your having married into the county family and moving here and joining us at our hometown bank, Merchants and Planners Bank. It, it's our hometown bank, and it, it's just like you say. It's it's. Uh, you know, we're here and we make local decisions and we, we help people. We appreciate you taking time well, to join us. Thank you for having me. You are quite welcome. Beth Kennard, if you need a loan, come see her at Merchants and Planners Bank in downtown Newport. Thank you, girl. Thank you.